Hi, it's Minister Tara for your Selah moment today. It's morning and we just concluded our Bible study for the morning session on unwavering faith, a beautiful journey. And I want to encourage you in your faith today. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 has been our focus scripture for the entire seven weeks. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope, how? Without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. We read in chapter 11, so many who are listed in the hall of faith. How did they stay firm with unwavering in their faith? Is they held fast to the confession of their faith. Their faith is not in the promise. Their faith is in the promiser. Let me say that again. Their faith is not in the promise. The faith is in the promiser. And I want us to shift our focus from focusing so much on the promises of God and instead focus on God himself, the promiser. It says that he who promised, he is faithful. We never know how he's going to get the answer to us. We don't know the timing for the answer. We truly do not know what we even need in our own lives, which is why we need to seek the promiser. We hold fast. What does it mean to hold fast? Is that when the storms of life come, and they will, when the rain descends, and it will, when trouble comes, as John 16, says, in this world, you will have tribulation. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. When those times come, you and I hold fast. It means that we keep a grip. Our anchor is not the promise. Our anchor is Jesus Christ himself. We hold fast to that confession of our hope, the hope that whatever he does, however he does it, he is faithful. He's going to show up in your life. He's going to move in my life. But the question is, where have I placed my faith? In whom have I placed my faith? I use an example this morning with the ladies in the Bible study. I said, we exercise faith every day of our lives. You have faith. You have faith if you got in a car, you had faith that the car would start, that you would be able to get from one point to the next point. You had faith that the tires would not blow out. You have faith that when you go to use your debit card and you put it in, if there's money in your bank, you have faith that the debit card is going to work. If you eat at a restaurant, you certainly have faith because you don't know who's cooking the food, what their day was like, you have faith you're eating from someone else's table. You have faith if you went to a job that at the end of doing your 40 hour week, whatever your week may be, that you are going to receive a paycheck. You have faith if you get on an airplane and you don't know the pilot, you don't know what his day's like, if he really knows how to fly the plane, you trust that he has been hired and that he knows what he's doing, but you don't know if the plane's going to come up or go down correctly, You, but you have faith. You purchase a ticket. Listen, we live a life of faith. My question to you is, where have you placed your faith? In whom have you placed your faith? When our faith is firmly rooted in the promiser, the one who promised, knowing that he is faithful, you and I can look at every opportunity, every obstacle, every challenge, every moment of our day to live in faith, trusting the promiser, that what Romans 8, 28 says, that he will work it out for our good. We can hold fast to the confession of our faith. Be encouraged today, but then ask yourself the question as you go throughout the day, where is my faith? Because you place it somewhere in someone. Let that be Jesus Christ, the one who is faithful. Let's pray. Father, thank you today. We need that unwavering faith. In every moment of our day, every circumstance, every challenge, you give us an opportunity. I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister right now that they will be able to reflect and ask themselves that introspective question. Where have I placed my faith? In whom have I placed my faith? And if it's not in you, let today be a trajectory change for them to put their faith and their hope and their complete trust in you because you are faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, Selah.